Hello everyone, it's Junk Journal January 2024 time again and I'm going to be doing prompt number, I think it was number 17 today? Yes, 17 and the prompt I'm doing is whimsical so I'm just showing you my background on the left hand side there that I created in the last video when I created that um, squiggle on the right which was my page for flow so if you want to see how I create the background for this particular uh, prompt then please look at that previous video it'll be in my playlist so here we are I've lifted out that page in my journal and that's my background and this is the stamp I'm going to be using and it is a stamp by the house of Xander and it's just a little whimsical doll so I thought I would do that today um, my first stamping there was not a good stamp so I went in again and delivering CPR there <laughs> um, to get a good impression so here I am just using some of my stamping up watercolor wonder um, crayons to color up my little stamp I've stamped it in jet black archival ink so I'm very confident that any water I throw out this piece of card um, it was just a piece of scrap card won't um, blur and I'm trying to as best I can color up my little art doll here and um, I'm trying out some crowns there to see what I can put on the top and I haven't got anything the right size so you saw me there just try out a little gem which I decide to use here I'm just fussy cutting uh, the image of my art doll and as you can see I've just painted the top half of her I haven't painted the skirt or her legs and you'll see why in a moment and here I'm just using an exacto knife to cut out a couple of little tricky pieces underneath her arm or underneath both arms and um, here I've just got some of the scraps that I've been putting to one side and using throughout my um, Junk Journal January creations. And I'm just trying to rip those up and create a little skirt for her. Now this is something I saw um, Junk Journal Joy do a while back and I thought I would like to give it a try. I know loads of people have done it um, so apologies if somebody else did this before um, Junk Journal Joy. So just ripping up bits of scrap, various designs and just gluing them to the bottom half from the waist down of my little painted doll. Adding a bit of glue as I needed to. Oh, here I've gone back to the gem. It had a loop at the top and I'm just snipping that uh, snipping that loop away. And here I've obviously gone in and I've done some stitching to the uh, top of the art doll. And I'm just burnishing the stitching that I've done on the machine down on the front and the back. A little bit of running repair there with my glue. And here I am um, gluing a piece of coffee stained paper I think it is to do another stamp and this is because I've decided that the top half of my doll is too flimsy so I'm cutting this um, image out again and I've got a piece of white card that I've doubled over so the back has been covered with the tea stain paper and the front is stamped so there you go I've got two images and that was just a piece of uh, wallpaper folded in half and I've glued one of the little um, new images inside between the folds of that wallpaper and as you can see I am gluing both those two new images together so one is between and the other one is behind, just trimming off the skirt. And you'll see why, because I decide to reinforce the top of my little art doll, but I also decide to do what um, Louisa Heinzel did um, recently in one of her videos, and that was to create a hidden journaling spot. So I've created a tag there, 
and uh, you saw me cut away the top half of the um, first image that I painted and I'm just gluing that onto the top of my little uh, tag or journaling spot so the top is nice and reinforced with three layers and um, the bottom portion is reinforced at the back there with the tea stained um, one and um, the front forms the basis of my little journaling spot I hope this is all making sense so I'm just checking the length and I decide I need to trim off a little bit from the bottom and there I've got the skirt low half of the skirt in place I'm just checking where that little tag will go in my um, uh, in my skirt and how much room I've got on either side and I decide to create a pocket rather than glue the skirt to the page so here I'm just creating a little pocket for my tag to go in just checking how much leeway I've got on either side for gluing purposes so here I'm gluing all three sides of the little pocket I'm creating and I'm gluing it to the back of my skirt and as you can see it's just a scribbled um, piece of extra card folding down the top because obviously I need a little bit of clearance to get that tag in just trimming away that um, the top and just checking that that card will go in or that tag will go in nicely so looking to see how I would like it on the page and then I'm gluing the back of the pocket that is the lower portion of the dress for my tag to go in and it goes in but it's not going in as smoothly as I would like so I'm just trimming away the sides of the tag a little bit more so that it will sit nicely and go into the pocket nice and easily here I've got out my glossy accents and I'm just using that to adhere that little gem to her forehead and I'm adding a little bit of lace to the top of what is now the pocket or her skirt adding another little feature on top another little daisy from a scrap of lace I also use glossy accents on her necklace and also on her eyes as well and there we go so I decide I want something behind her to make her more whimsical so I'm trying out some butterfly wings here these are all transparencies and that's the one I decide I like because I like the way the lower wings fan out over the uh, top of the dress round her waist so that's one portion yep I'm really liking that so make the decision and I glue those two pieces in place so that's one side and this is the other side and that's my finished little art doll and I hope you enjoyed seeing this one come together um, it took longer than I thought it was going to do I thought this would be a quick hit today obviously decide I need a little bit more glue there to help it glue nicely or stick nicely to the back of my doll and there she is going into the pocket which is hidden away behind her skirt and I'm hoping her hands look like they are actually holding that little piece of lace at the waist of her dress. So here I am bringing in my journal and just looking to see what my two pages look like together. Now I decide that I want to add some pieces to my um, page today that will tie it in with the opposite page and I've just added a little scrap in that top left hand corner of the paper marbled paper that I used on the right hand side and another little piece at the top so once again everybody thank you so much for watching I really do appreciate your company I hope you enjoyed seeing this little uh, art doll come together for today's prompt which was whimsical 
and um, as I'm always saying please if you've got some time come and join me for the remainder of these prompts in this little journal January 2024 series until the next video everybody take care bye bye now